there. The good thing about our forecast is our winds aren't anything exceptional. So the red flag in our area is kind of more due to how hot and dry it is. Up in northern California, though, they do still have some gusts over 30 miles per hour. So they have about as high of fire danger as you're ever going to see this time of the year. So definitely keeping an eye on that today, especially with all that dry air over California. The heat also has its impacts as well. Maybe not so much on the central coast in the first couple of days of this heat wave, just because you know, Greenfield should be around 95 today. That's above average, but not unheard of for this time of the year. But it's just how long this heat's going to be lasting through Friday or Saturday. Some of those impacts start to compound. So we'll probably start feeling it a bit more by later this weekend and may even see that heat continue into early next week as well. Along the coast, though, it's a different story. It should just be kind of ideal conditions out there for 4th of July. Although, I guess that depends on your perspective. One time I said that and somebody called and said that they preferred rain. But yeah, it's going to be sunny for the 4th of July. So good barbecue weather on the coast. But inland areas, yeah, that's where we have the heat. 102 for Morgan Hill, 101 for Gilroy. That's about 15 degrees above average. They should be around like 85 for this time of the year. And then Monterey Peninsula, and it depends on where you are. We had a big spread yesterday where Monterey was in the low 80s, but then Carmel and Pebble Beach stayed in the 60s. So the coast looks like we'll see some high 70s to low 80s, which is still above average. It's just not as far above normal as the inland cities where we do have some triple digits out there. Now let's check to traffic with Jack.